I've been to the motherfucking mountain top. Hey guys, welcome to another Wim Hof Method video and today I'm going to do something special. So I'm going to do a Wim Hof Method and I have this um, heart rate monitor on me and here I have the watch which can display the heart rate. So I'm going to show you guys what happens with my heart rate when I'm doing Wim Hof Method. I'm not at resting pulse right now. My resting pulse is about 50 beats per minute and uh, now it's 63 because you know I'm talking and sitting up and stuff. So it's not resting but pretty much like normal average day pulse that I start with. And the science says that uh, beats per minute will increase when you hyperventilate so but you guys will see what happens it's gonna be interesting so so yeah let's do this and I'm gonna do one set of me Wim Hof method breathing and uh, I'm gonna do 30 to 40 breaths I never do the same uh, number of breaths because I want to feel the the lightheadedness and I want to feel the tingling so I know that my blood is getting alkaline and as you see now my heart rate is racing pretty fast it took took about 15-20 seconds for it to race up and I'm doing the breathing in a, a normal uh, breathing pace for me and this is a kind of uh, hyperventilation, you know, the first phase of Wim Hof Method. But Wim Hof Method is not hyperventilation because of the retention time and the recovery breath. But this phase is hyperventilation. And it causes the blood to be more alkaline. It can also cause alkalosis in the body, which means a very alkaline blood. And it's My heart rate is... 93 right now and when I started it was it was between uh, 55 and 65 so it's a um, clear increase in heartbeat and you can see now I'm doing the retention and we hit about 100 so we're gonna see how how it keeps maintains during the retention and now I have no breath I breathe out so now I have very little air in my lungs. They're almost empty. I'm just surviving on the oxygen in my blood. And uh, my carbon dioxide level in, in my blood is very low. So that's why I can hold my breath for so long. That's why I don't feel I have to gasp for air. Because when the blood gets uh, acidic, you need to breathe and when the blood gets acidic it means that the carbon dioxide level is getting higher but now it's now it's pretty low so I don't feel that need to breathe and now it's going down a little bit and I'm still doing the retention Oops. normalize that's 75 60 Now I'm doing the recovery breath here, and I'm taking as a deep breath, as deep as I can. Then I hold it for at least 15 seconds. Sometimes I do longer because I like the feeling of it. There is no wrong with holding longer than 15 seconds, but should hold at least 15 seconds. And now it's going down during the recovery breath, and now we are down where we started and a little bit lower than we started also but it's going up yeah so so during the recovery breath you are recovering so you, you start out basically where you started you end up where you started basically I'm gonna do a video where I do three sets so we can see the long term effect of doing this
So I'm gonna do more like this type of biometrics. Uh, I want to do um, the blood pressure. Yeah, do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Stay strong, guys. See you later. I've been to the motherfucking mountaintop.